Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. You know, so <clears throat> me, I was born in Yonkers, New York. Moved to Atlanta when I was like four. Started Did doing. your parents ever tell you why move to Atlanta out of anywhere else? Just oh, why Atlanta? Yeah, um, we were um actually, you know, my dad started like, you know, he was hustling out there. And um, I think it was a shootout or something. Like mm. it, was, it was in a shootout or something. My brothers, it was like, a, I don't really remember it like that, but we was in a shootout in the park or something. And then they found me up, like laid over my brother. You know what mm. I mean? So that from that day, they was just like, Yo, it was time to pack up. <laughs> I think like they told me we they moved like the next day. So That's um, dope. so. Boom, that happened, shoot out, we moved to Atlanta. And then from like, you know, five until I was probably like 21, I lived in Atlanta doing music, went to school in Atlanta, raised in Atlanta, elementary, junior high, mm -hmm. you know, um, high school. So Atlanta's like where, if somebody asks me where I'm from, it's like mm -hmm. Atlanta's where I'm from. How yeah. old were you when you found a love for music? Oh man, love for music. First song I ever learned was before I let go, by Frankie Beverly and Maze. Mm, yeah, yeah, before that's, I let that's go. Heavy right there, boy. Yeah, before I let go, Frankie Beverly and Mays, Whitney Houston, my mom, all those songs, them classic songs, my mom used to play while she was cleaning up or something. That's how I grew up on music. So Frankie Beverly and Mays, Whitney Houston, Bobby Brown. No so she addition. had a love for music, not your dad as much. Yeah, my mom and my dad, like just really, they, they none of them did mute. My dad writes though. Oh, okay. Like, I think I get my poetry from like. Your dad. My dad, because mm -hmm. he, my dad got over like ten thousand poems. You know what mm. I'm saying? So he was a writer for sure. I got my name from Zane Gray too, the writer Zane Gray. Okay, okay. Yeah, That's so cool. I think I think names are important. Very, very important. Very. My, my grandma named my dad after Zane Gray. I mean, after Zane, you know, the writer. Mm -hmm. He ended up being a writer. You know, not yeah. a professional writer, but like. If it's funerals or anything, they like, yo, Big Zane, write something. <laughs> and he's Big Zane. Like, that's my that's not my stage name. Like Lil Zane is really like if you had yeah, if yeah. you was if you had if you was your your dad's name Larry, you know what I mean? You Larry you Larry Jr. Mm -hmm. So they call you Lil Larry. Yeah, Everybody Lil might e. think Lil it's e. a, I'm Lil E. Yeah, yeah. they might Big think e. it's a like no matter how your dad's still alive. I know he passed away, but I'm okay, still so I'm still a little E when it comes down to see, that. See, we can relate. That, yeah, that no. me up on that. No, no, like, no yeah. but hold on. But you've told me. I'm when, still. When, when I tell him, I say you still you junior. He's like, no, I'm not junior no more. I'm senior now because he I passed away. I am senior, but I'm no, still. I feel like that. I feel like I'm, that. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people say, well, you know, what I'm saying you Lil Zane, why you change your name, boom, boom. But I'm like, it ain't no stage name for me. Like mm -mm. in my house, you gotta say like Big Zane, Lil Zane. You gotta say one of those because. Both of us are coming down. Is, and that's it. That's Zane. it. And now I have a son named Zane. So hey. but he's, he's the third. No, he's Baby Z. So I changed. He's he doesn't have the same exact. He he's Zane Jeremiah Copeland. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's still dope. Yeah, I'm Zane Rudolph Copeland. I got yeah. I got the fucked up. <laughs> you know I wasn't trying to do that to him. You know what I'm saying? Did you ever get teased about that middle name? Did I? Oh my god! <laughs> Every Christmas come around, this Rudolph motherfucker. I hate it. I hate right Christmas. There. Yo, don't sing that shit. <laughs> Rudolph the Red. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Yeah, yeah. but um, that's crazy. So. You know, I changed my son's name up just so you have his own identity, you know. So, but growing up, people always say, well, I ain't changing your name, whatever. It's like, I feel like you was like Big Zane is, till he passed, till if some, Lord forbid, some, I don't really feel comfortable no. saying, oh, Big Zane, no uh -uh. matter how much money I got, how much shit I did. It's no. like, you always Lil E. I'm always be Lil E. And, yeah. and, and I respected him to the day he, And I respect my dad to the like, fullest. I don't play with that. Like, and I never. I play with it, yeah. No cursing, no none of that. I was respectful, you're right. man. I don't you, play like you're that. You're right, you're right. And, and he passed away, but still, I know that, you know, I, I did what I was supposed to do. Man, like. And I can sleep at night. You know what I mean? That's real, man. Like, and that's so funny you said that, because me and my pops ain't really seeing eye to eye right now. Like. You know, I went there with mine too for I, years, and, but it ain't too late. But yeah, but I, lately I've been reaching out and stuff like he just yeah. had a birthday on Thanksgiving, so I just been reaching out because like life is so short, man. It is. You know what I'm saying? It is. You don't want to get that call or you know what I'm saying? You just like, damn, I should have. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And like you said, we, I got so much respect for him. It's like, how can you say you got so much respect for him? And still, I had to. I, even I, when they wrong, dog, they still I be right. feeling like I be feeling like my dog wrong sometimes. But I be like, just because I had so much respect. It's you, like, damn, I gotta. Yo, you gotta you do know how right. our dads is. Our dad, they ain't gonna call us, bro. No. Because they got that. They pride. They got that pride, like, because yeah. they know they was there for That's us. That's right. They know broke, they was there. I like, broke my leg, and my dad still didn't even come to the hospital. We hadn't spoken in a year and something, and I wow. was hurt behind that. Wow. My stepdad was at the hospital. I was like, wow. dude, where had my dad at? I was really pissed. Wow. But I knew we wasn't seeing eye to eye when it had happened. But at the end of the day, he eventually came to see me. But, they, they you know, they, they got this thing that you, you disrespected the God, nigga. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And especially <laughs> when they know. 
They been there for us. Exactly. It's like, nigga, no matter what I did, what I said. That's it. I was there fucking 20. How is you now, nigga? I'm still there. I was there when you was born. Wow. That's the part where you, you forget because you, wow. uh, you can't remember that. Wow. But they was there. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.